Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we'll be taking a look at a collaboration done with Gucci and Adidas, this time on the ZX8000 silhouette, and these are known as the beige monogram. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back everyone to another unboxing and review. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. Today we'll be discussing the Adidas collaboration with Gucci on the ZX8000. These are in the beige monogram colorway, so we'll go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, followed by how I style this really fun looking patterned sneaker, and then we'll conclude with how these are doing currently on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. For those of you who are designer fans, when it comes to sneakers, this video is definitely Definitely for you. I have just been such a fan of Adidas and Gucci's collaborations based upon the fact that these are such high quality sneakers. Uh, so I've definitely copped two things already from this most recent drop. I also was able to snag a pair of some slides with the Gucci monogram throughout as well as the Adidas print on the slides itself. But today is the sneaker. So this is the ZX8000. I've done many of these on my channel just because I'm obsessed with the silhouette. I think it is by far one of my favorite silhouettes to wear when it comes to Adidas. I just think it's so comfortable and really just gives you such amazing arch support. So this specific colorway did drop in other color schemes. This was the only one I specifically liked, but it did come in an aqua, a pink, as well as a bright green colorway. Again, this is the beige monogram. So you can see the beige tone here. It's definitely got a little bit of gold hues to it with the Gucci logo or monogram throughout the toe box. We also have beautiful royal purple on the front here in this nice leather suede texture. And then we have more beige suede on the front. Feeling this, you can tell that this is just such a high quality sneaker. It also has a bit of weight to it. In comparison to a lot of the other ZX uh, 8000s, I feel like this is probably the heaviest one I've held in my hand. Uh, working our way up to the top, we are not limited by the color schemes that they've gone with. These have some nice bright lime green laces and then the eyelets are in this nice pop of aqua blue. And then underneath, we do have more of that beige goldeny tone for the tongue and then a little bit of a hit of this lighter blue or sky blue underneath on the suede. And and then we've got Gucci Torsion in this purple and lime green tone for that uh, lace toggle there. And then as we work our way up to the top of the tongue, we've got Gucci and Adidas's dual logo in that pop of purple on the satin, satin material, which is also in black. So let's take a look at those details and then move along to the side paneling.
right, so wrapping around to the side paneling on the medial side, we'll start with the stripes. We've got purple and black stripes, which are on top of that monogram in the beige color tone, and then underneath some sky blue suede. As we wrap around to the back of the heel, we've got this nice pastel yellow tone, and then underneath, you can see that it's transparent in this plastic film here. Underneath is a blue colorway intermixed with some beige. On the back, we've got Gucci. Amazingly, they have embroidered this in such a high quality. You can just feel how nice the stitching is when you touch this. Then we've got a little bit more hits of that purple hue. The interior is pretty much covered in this blue tone and Gucci uh, in Adidas's logo are printed in black. As we wrap around to the lateral side, you're gonna see that same texture of materials used as well as the same color pattern. And then the sneakers completed with a little bit of purple on top of the midsole here. Underneath the midsole is in white and and the outsole will complete the sneaker with bright yellow and white with this black tone where you can see the Gucci logo on the bottom as well as the Adidas logo here and then a bit of this nice kind of cream colorway. All right, let's take a look at those details and talk about the box. Alright, so as far as the box goes, this is a really cool box. It has Gucci and Adidas's logo on the front, a bright pop of yellow. It does turn into a bag. We also have some dusters in here. So we've got these nice little cases for your sneakers if you want to have a duster bag with it. You also get a second set here in this nice, just natural colorway. Now let's talk about size and fit on these. So as far as size and fit goes, I actually went true size, but I wish I would have gone down half a size just because I do feel like these run a little bit on the larger side. So for me personally, I would recommend going half a size down if you have high arch narrow feet. If you do have flat or wider feet, that could obviously differentiate a size difference since we have different types of feet. So do take that into consideration when deciding on what size will work best for you. All right, so now let's talk about how I style this really just crazy colored sneaker. For this look, I wanted to put out the green hues in the sneaker, so I decided to go with this ribbed one shoulder tank top, and I had some just nice light baggy wide width pants. fun shoe so I definitely wanted to play with some patterns so I decided to go with this matching top and maxi skirt it's got some nice different colorways on there and as you can see on this sneaker there's tons of colors so I felt like this was a nice kind of dressier but not too over the top dressy simple and casual type of look to go all green so I wore this ribbed green tight fitted dress I just think that green is so complimentary of the colors that they use specifically purple I love kind of styling green with purple I think the two colors really just resonate well with each other
doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $980. They're currently going between $1,200 for ass uh, to as high as $2,600. All right, everyone. That is it for this unboxing and review. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We'll catch you on the next episode. <laughs>